How transverse waves are mechanical. Transverse waves are the type of mechanical wave that will usually propagate through a medium in the vertical direction. Now that we know, transverse waves belong to the mechanical wave. The properties of a transverse wave are that it will travel in one direction, not along the direction of the medium. Also, it will have two dimensions to the medium. Let us take some of the examples to understand the transverse wave better. Consider we go to a lake, and we will want to play with the stones by throwing them into the water. What will happen when we throw stones into the water? The stone thrown into the water will make ripples in the water. It means the waves have been produced in the water. How are they produced? When a stone is thrown into the water from a distance, the particle in the surroundings will be acting in the direction along with the direction of the wave. From the little bit of science, we know mechanical waves are the waves that require a material medium to propagate, and they will be propagated in such a way that the waves either travel along with the medium or perpendicular to the medium. The transverse waves are mechanical waves that sometimes take the aid of the medium to propagate through, leaving the particles around the waves to also vibrate with them. This way, we know that transverse waves are mechanical waves. Why are transverse waves mechanical? Transverse waves are mechanical because they require a medium for propagation. Some of the good examples are light waves through a spectrum, sound waves, gravitational waves and radio waves so on. The mechanical waves are basically divided into three types of waves which are seen in most everyday real life activities too. The three types of waves are named to be transverse wave, longitudinal wave, and surface wave. The mechanical wave has properties in such a way that all three types of mechanical waves will come under the same property. So a mechanical wave requires a medium to propagate, and it will vibrate inside the medium. And so are the transverse waves which require a medium for propagation, and they vibrate in such a way that it is vertical to the medium of propagation. They have two dimensions in consideration of the medium. We must know the properties or parameters per se of the mechanical wave. They have amplitude, frequency, speed, wavelength, and time period. The wave propagation in a medium will be affected by all of these parameters. Firstly, we need to understand that waves are basically the carrier of energy from one medium to another. The best and most typical example of this is the sun ray. The sun rays are a collection of waves in them carrying energy in them which travel from one medium to another. Likewise, there are several other real-life examples that could be used to understand the mechanical waves and their types, mainly it answers the question, are transverse waves mechanical? Mechanical transverse wave example. We know that transverse waves are one of the types of mechanical waves which inherit the properties of the mechanical waves in their propagation through any medium. The transverse waves are the ones that require a material medium for the propagation of waves through them. The waves generally move up and down inside the medium, making a perpendicular alignment with the medium of propagation. Here are some of the few examples of transverse waves that are mechanical. Water ripples musical string vibration light waves. Water ripples. When we strike a stone into the pond or a lake containing water, we will be able to see a set of patterns instantly after the stone throw. The reason is when the stone is thrown, the particle around the water will align themselves in the direction of the stone. So when the wave disturbance due to the stone throw occurs, there will undoubtedly be a pattern. That pattern is nothing but the up and down motion of the waves. These waves are said to be right angles to the medium of propagation which means they are perpendicular to the direction of the water movement. So this whole process of the stone throw and the pattern appearing in the water is all due to the transverse waves in action, meaning they will always propagate only with the help of a medium in presence. Musical string vibration. 
In this case, the strings play a significant role in creating the vibration in and around that particular instrument. So whenever we move the strings of the guitar, we can see there will be vibration in an uneven pattern. The pattern formed will be right angles to the guitar since we know that the propagation of the waves is always orthogonal to the direction of the medium. We also know that a wave has different factors which affect it, and those will also be a part of the wave propagation through a medium. The top note of the wave is called the crest, and the bottom note of the wave is called the trough. When these two meet each other, then there will be a wave formed. The wave also travels at a particular speed and at a given time. The frequency of the wave matters too. Light waves. Light wave is one of the best examples of transverse waves. Since the light waves contain energy that is to be transmitted from one medium to another, they always have their motion up and down the medium. Light waves are generally electromagnetic waves, and all electromagnetic waves are transverse waves in nature. Also, light waves prove the facts that they are transverse waves mechanical. Radio waves are also an example of transverse waves. They require a medium for the transaction of energy and sometimes sound too. Since the radio waves come under the electromagnetic spectrum, by nature, radio waves are also transverse waves. Please visit our website lambdageeks.com for more articles on technology, engineering, mathematics, and various other domains. Scientific calculator and many more other tools.